early bird gets the crappie we are out here on a secret spot and I brought my dad if you've watched the last video you know that we wore I wore the crappie out by myself uh, yesterday so came back in here today with my pops gonna see if we can't put some more crappie in the boat so first one of the morning just broke on one broke off on one just before this so brought the big cooler today so I'm gonna see if we can fill it up There you go. Dad's on. First fish. Yeah. yeah. You should have seen. I caught a female yesterday that was like, had to have been two and a half pounds. Gosh, dang it. Broke me off. That's so fun. That's so fun ripping them out of that stuff. Dad's on, big old white crappie. Look at that sucker. Fatty. Yeah. Look at this bad boy. That'll work. Dinner. Dad's on, get him out of there. Oh, we got him. Nope. Like this one. Oh no! Oh what? That's a first. Get out of here. Got your GoPro going? Oh yeah. There you go. Or keeper. Uh, put them in the mesh room. In that white bucket, there's a. It's all right. I'll eat them. Why'd you throw them out? Huh? Why'd you throw them out? Because he's got funky growing. So on. what? You eat it anyway. Yes, he don't have that funk growing on his fillets. All right guys, so got an ACC crappie sticks. This is a 10 footer, uh, medium action. Got a little thousand Daiwa, oh, Sienna. This is a cheap Shimano. Um, down to, I ran out of 
16th ounce jig heads yesterday. I was breaking them off every other fish. So we're using eighth ounce. Sorry, we are using 16th ounce. I, I broke off all my 30 seconds uh, jig heads yesterday. And we got a little crappie nibbled on there. I'm just switching up colors. Um, whenever the bait wears out, I'll switch up colors just to see what they're liking, but it doesn't seem like it's, they're real picky today. So 10 foot rod, we're dropping in this mat right here. You find you a little hole and kind of punch through it with that jig. And I like to go down about five foot and we're just jigging it. Sometimes you gotta, seems like these fish, they wanna be aggravated like that. I really had to jig it in there to get that fish. There's a big old white crappie right there. He choked it. And that's what we're doing today. It's been uh, a great morning so far. So I'm gonna see if we can't put or limit on the boat and get out of here. Go clean fish. That stuff. Oh, get in here. Swallowed it. No. Hamstrings about to blow. You're gonna, you'll catch a lot more fish, Dad. If you just look, just make your line about that long, so you're not doing this. You lift, you move, lose so many fish doing that. I was doing that yesterday. I'd make your line even shorter than that. You just want it like five foot under there. Ugh. Black crappie, remember the good ones. I just ripped this big old fish out of this mat. Look at the Look at the back on this sucker. Ow, oh, come here. Now that's a big old female right there. Perfect hook. Camera never does them justice, but I'm telling you guys, that's close to a two pound crappie. Maybe two pounds. Hurting my arm so big. That's a giant. Black crop, uh, white crappie. The keeper? Oh yeah. Put them in that slide. All right, guys. Here's another thing. A little tricky. These at Walmart, but just an easy check. Crappie stick. He's ten and a half inches. He's going in the bucket. That right there, guys, is a slab. Fit my hole. Ow, hook myself. That right there is a slab, daddy. On ice. Oh, no. I know that big one's still sitting here somewhere. Yep. Oh no! Told you. Isn't that crazy? I threw in there three times and he never bit, and then that time he bit.
Look at that one. Man. Quit. Number two, keep stay in there, huh? Yeah, I do. It's in. Oh no, it's in that gray box under your coke. The cooler. There we go. A wood, a wood. Number six. Golly, just broke my line. There's a bunch of fish up here. All right, guys, we are finishing it up here. Caught a ton of fish. Trying to get a few last ones, but uh, it's been a great day. Overcast skies. We got a storm coming in uh, in two days, and I think that's what's making these crappie really bright, really bite good. But we've had warm weather, so these crappie are moving up shallower. They're coming into this little creek. Um, if you have a local creek near you, there's going to be crappie trying to go up there and spawn. So uh, today we're using ACC crappie sticks, 10 foot medium action with a thousand. Shimano reel and we're using all different kinds of uh, Plastics we didn't use any hair jigs today, but 16 ounce jig heads and then Mainly what we were catching them on was this monkey milk color and then black and sartreuse is what my dad was throwing most of the day so uh, Through a few I actually ran out of them. I need to restock my box uh, I've been through probably 40 jig heads in the past three or four days just this stuff you get hung up all the time and got to switch over to braid put braid on your jigging rods but we got a cooler full of slabs these are just tanks these are just ginormous crappie look at the backs on those suckers giant fillets and uh we almost got two limits so we're gonna wrap it up maybe catch a couple more and we'll see y'all at the house Clean these bad boys up and have a big old fish fry. Just cleaned up yesterday's fish. They've been sitting on ice. Now it's time to clean them up. Twice as much as yesterday. Almost twice as much. So take one of these big old slab... <laughs> slab daddies. Show you how we clean them. Got an old timer electric knife. I said in the last video I've probably cleaned 100... 100 to 150 fish with it so far and it's done great it's fast and it's sharp so right behind the gill plate go down to the backbone stop and then you want to run your knife get down the backbone turn and run all the way down until you get to about right there at the end of the tail and we'll flip it over stop and then flip it and then go right in Cut that meat right off the skin. My dad's over here cutting the ribs out, but basically get that belly meat. So all you're left with is ribs, feed it to the cat. And then your big crappie filet goes in the pile. A lot of people ask this uh, all the time, how to tell the difference between a white crappie and a black crappie. Sometimes it can be difficult. So if you look down in here, these two fish right here are both white crappie. This one and this one, that's a black crappie. So on your white crappie, you're gonna have stripes. Sometimes they're not defined, sometimes it's a real white fish. So this looks like it's a black crappie 
it's got black fins, it's got a black belly. A lot of people would say, that's a black crappie, that's not a black crappie, that's a white crappie. Same with this one. White crappie, but it's got a white belly. This one is a white crappie as well, but it has a black belly. All right, little midnight snack. It's not quite midnight, but it is late. Just got the boys down. Been a long day, so we're gonna eat some crappie fish cakes for dinner. So I got some crappie fillets, I diced up an onion. We got some cornmeal, I'm gonna get a little bit of regular all-purpose flour out. We got some critter glitter fish and fowl, and we're gonna use an egg or two. So I got some coconut oil heating up over here. What you wanna do is get your crappie um, diced up. You can do as big or small chunks as you like. It's, it's really all about the consistency that you like. Uh, you can put it in the blender if that's what you want. So I'm gonna make them into little chunks. They kind of break apart once you start mixing everything together. So I just kind of make them into little strips like that. I have the hiccups for some reason. And then dice them up into little cubes. Ugh, just like that. So I'm gonna finish this, dicing this up, and then I'll show you the next step. All right, Angel got her a little mock mill, the mock mill 200. So she's been grinding up all of our uh, grains. What is this? What is this grain? Hard white wheat. Hard white wheat. I'm just gonna do. I gotta start it. She's some fresh old flour right there. That was only three, three spoonfuls and that's probably a half a cup. Put that back in position. So we got some flour. We got some grist mill, corn mill. We need to do corn mill out of this thing. Make corn mill. Or cause this thing can't do corn, can it? I don't know, I need to look into it more. Start out with about 50-50 regular flour and corn mill. We're gonna go with one farm fresh egg from the Owens Homestead. Crack it in there, that's a big old egg. We're not gonna do all this onion. We're just gonna do about half. Just like, just like that, half on the floor, half in the cup. We're gonna put all our fish in there. Diced up. And then we're gonna take our critter glitter, fish and fowl, give it a nice old heavy seasoning of that. About like that. Then we'll take our spoon and we're gonna mix it all in. It looks like it's gonna be a little dry, so add another egg. You just kinda mix your ingredients until you get the consistency that you like to where you can make a a patty or a cake, whatever you want to call them, wherever you're from. This actually may turn out pretty, to be a pretty good consistency. Let's see what this feels like. Pretty, I want it to be pretty tacky. Stick, uh, this is actually perfect. So, to make you a little fish patty like this, you can also do make them into balls and deep fry them, but we're just shallow frying them, so take it just like that. Drop it right in. Just make as many as you can out of this bowl, fry them up. And I'll show you what they look like when they're done and we'll do a, a rating on them, but I promise you it's gonna be a really, really good little meal. Done. All right, guys. This is a secret sauce. It's called Pick a Peppa. 
Learned it in the Cayman Islands a long, long time ago. It's a Jamaican sauce and it is amazing. They call these fish fritters in the Caymans. So that's what we're gonna call them, is crappie fritters. We're gonna take a little of this pick of pepper because I'm still out of spicy ketchup. We're gonna see what it tastes like. Looks like some black tar. Let's see what, see what we're working with here. Big old bite. Crappie fritter. That is so good. Dynamite. Knock it out of the park. Gonna have to give that like a solid 9-1. That was delicious. And I'm starving on top of that, so that probably helps out. But the pick of pepper sauce is a must with a fish fritter. It's delicious. It's more it's like a kind of like an A1 sauce, but more tangy. If that makes any sense. Leave it in the comments if you ever heard of it or if you've ever tried it, because it is delicious. Well, that's gonna wrap this up. Hope you guys are enjoying the crappie content. I'm absolutely loving it, and there's more coming. So y'all leave it in the comments if y'all wanna see more crappie content. Uh, and if you wanna support the channel, go to moltman.net. It's linked in the description. Shirts, hats, hoodies, spices, and moltman baits. I'll see you in the next one. Hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and remember, eat good.